Hello everyone, I'm Margaret and welcome back to my channel. Um, today's uh, video is on the Flying Stars Feng Shui Energies for the month of March 2024, uh, which starts from March 5 to April 3 of 2024. I apologize, I'm a little bit uh, late this time. And uh, <clears throat> I've been thinking of uh, whether to continue with my monthly Flying Star forecast and if uh, there's enough interest out there for it. So if you have any thoughts about it, please uh, write your comment and your thoughts uh, on the comment section so that I can get a good uh, feedback on it, okay? So this is the second month of 2024, uh, the year of the Yangwood Dragon. We're following the solar calendar when it comes to Feng Shui. <clears throat> Here's the flying star chart for the month of March 2024. You'll find the nine grids, and in each of the nine grids, you'll find two numbers. The big number indicates the annual star, and the smaller one indicates the monthly star. Now, you'll need a reliable compass to determine your house's facing and location and the different sectors of your home. And uh, there will, of course, be good and uh, bad sectors in the home depending on the flying star energies for the month and for the year. And this is where our monthly forecast comes in handy to help you. So what it does, it tells you where the good sectors are with the good energies and the bad sectors where the not so good energies are. So you can try to avoid using those negative energies, okay, uh, the sectors with the negative energies. Okay, and uh, to offset the negative energies, you can use the good sectors a little bit more. Okay, now let's look at the energies of each of the nine sectors that is present in your home this month and how it will affect anyone using the space and the overall well-being of the residents. So let's start with the Southeast sector. Now the Southeast sector has the number two and three flying stars and it brings quarrelsome energies. The number three brings the argument uh, energies, you know, like always fighting. So the visiting number three, um, can prevent you from getting the most out of this lucky month. Thankfully, this uh, is only temporary and uh, it's pretty easy to avoid, uh, just avoid conflicts from happen happening by keeping activities here to a minimum and removing anything that makes noise. So if you also have couples uh, <clears throat> having bedrooms or residing in the Southeast, are advised to be a bit more patient with each other at this time, okay? So this sector, as you can see on the slide, affects the dragons, the snakes, and the eldest daughter. Let's move on to the South sector. The South sector has the financial and wealth growth with the number eight monthly star flying into it. So uh, it brings uh, windfall income and money luck. And if you're in business or active in the stock market, you'll find that the energies here is pretty good for you. And those whose homes face south or whose bedrooms are in the south can take advantage of this good energy and also take their romantic relationship to the next level. And uh, aside from that, this sector's energy, as you can see, affects the middle daughter and uh, people uh, with the horse um, yearly sign, okay? Now the Southwest sector has the completion or victory luck, and it's a great sector to spend time in, especially if you're working towards advancement or business growth. Uh, the victory star number one brings good energies, winning energies that sharpen your intuition and help you make all the right moves. Combined with the annual number nine star, it just manifests, it just magnifies those powerful completion luck. So achieving good results will thus be easier than probably in, you know, in previous tries. Now, new opportunities come into your life, allowing you to also spring ahead uh, against your competition. Activate the good energies of both the number nine and number one timely stars by using this sector this month. 
Now let's get on to the East sector, which has a number two illness star flying into this particular sector, you know, um, spelling a month of low vitality for residents of East uh, facing homes and for people with uh, bedrooms in the East sector. Uh, health problems and injuries are possible. You can also become a little bit more vulnerable to spiritual disturbances and external manipulation. So stay well protected by watching what you eat and minim minimizing your stress level. Uh, keep this part of your home quiet and avoid bright lights and things that make a lot of noise like TVs, you know, and uh, <clears throat> Uh, probably um, lessen the use of this uh, particular sector. Now, if you have elderly residents, they should actually move out of this particular space area for this month, okay? Now, let's get on to the center, which has the number four uh, romance and uh, relationship star flying into it, indicating a good, good and auspicious time for everyone. This is uh, when creative energies are high, romance luck is strong, and students can focus well in school. So new ideas can come easily while relationships improve all around. Those wishing to awaken their creativity should actually use this space to harness its auspicious energy this month. So it's also an excellent, excellent month for romance and take time to breathe new life into your relationship if it's been low for the last few years, okay? Now the West has a uh, number five and six flying star, has the number six uh, heaven star flying into it, bringing it windfall luck and strong benefactor. Uh, luck as well, and those uh, whose homes face west and whose bedrooms are located in the west can benefit the most, but everyone can also capture the good fortune energies by using this sector this month. Married couples living in the west bedrooms can look forward to a happy month filled with loving vibes. So, by the way, this, this, this sector, the west sector's energy this month is also good for manifesting abundance. So it is a good space to actually sit and meditate and uh, think about, you know, uh, what you would like to have an abundance of in your life, okay? And this sector, is, of course, affects the rooster and the youngest daughter. <clears throat> now let's get on to the Northeast sector. The Northeast sector brings... Uh, Number seven, you know, with the number seven flying into it brings betrayal and lost energies to the occupants of the Northeast. So don't let your guard down. Uh, there's a risk of break-ins and getting cheated. Uh, it actually increases this month. There may be an uptick in the individuals that would like to cause trouble for you at work. So uh, you just need to watch your back. And if you're married, there is also a danger of infidelity as well. And uh, of course, this energy sector affects uh, the ox, the tiger, and the youngest son. So just be a little bit more careful if you do have a, a door in the Northeast as well as if your bedroom or offices are located in this particular sector, okay? get on to the north sector which has the number nine and number eight stars brings uh, prosperity and uh, wealth luck uh, so the north continues to be really good really lucky um, the number nine brings fame and uh, new opportunities and uh, swift completion to one's plans and it also magnifies the annual number eight star uh, wealth stars, so you know it does. Uh, it does bring a lot of good energies into this particular space. So you can spend more time in this sector and to capture the lucky vibrations. And uh, but just a word of caution: the number eight also has the pros uh, has the ability in period nine to cause illness 
and this negative aspect is equally magnified by the number nine one three star. As you can, as you very well know, the in period eight, the number eight was the number one wealth star, but it's starting to lose and uh, it's shine, so to speak. So it will have a bit of the negative energies uh, as well, and that can actually cause a bit of problem. Okay. <clears throat> Now let's get on to the Northwest sector, which has the number four and number five flying star, and this space needs a bit of uh, remedy. So the Northwest gets afflicted with the five yellow, which increases the risk of accidents, injuries, and disasters. Uh, loss of money can be substantial, and as well as reversals of fortune. Uh, this has been seen before, so be extra careful this month if you live in a northwest facing home, sleep in a northwest sector bedroom, or are the patriarch of your family, or you are someone in a position of leadership. So be careful also when you make decisions. It's not a good time to change how things are done or to start anything new at this uh, particular time, okay? Now let's uh, summarize uh, this uh, month's uh, energies. So the creative star or the number four relationship star flies into the center, giving uh, relationships, uh, love, li love life uh, a big boost. It also brings uh, inspiration and new ideas. And the lucky, you know, uh, the lucky sectors right now are the center, north, southwest, and southwest. But uh, the unlucky sectors or sectors that you need to be aware of is the east, northwest, northeast, and southeast. Um, you know, as much as possible, please uh, try to not use them as much and not to make as much noise in those particular areas. Now, the southwest actually also brings completion luck. <clears throat> so. The, the dominant uh, star number four, the, well, the number four dominates the center of the flying star chart and it brings all these good uh, energies into uh, the center of the home and it creates this uh, good, no, uh, auspicious energies. So anybody, everybody can uh, benefit from it. And, uh, you know, it, it's also good to... Uh, have this star as it is expected to improve people's relationship uh, with each other and to hopefully set aside their differences and work together for the greater good. So there's also lots of love in the air. So it's a wonderful month to enjoy family and friends and to work at cultivating uh, relationships that are both personal and professional. Again, the, uh, the good uh, sectors to activate uh, would be the center, the north, southwest, and southwest center, uh, southwest sectors. And, uh, you know, uh, homes that are facing in this direction can look forward to a pretty good month. Um, for this month, the matriarchs are luckier than the patriarchs, as, uh, you know, uh, as the patriarchs or the fathers have to contend with the misfortune star number five. The northeast, uh, northeast, southeast sector has a bit of uh, has a, a group of auspicious uh, stars. So again, try to keep this part of the home undisturbed, and remember to install remedies if you have. And you can actually leave the annual remedies you have in place, such as uh, if you have them in the west or the southeast sectors, then just leave them alone and. Uh, um, just remedy the the sectors uh, for the monthly inauspicious you know, energies. Okay, so <clears throat> there you have it, folks. Uh, there you have it. The energies in the different sectors of your home for the month of March 2024. With the help of the flying stars Feng Shui, you can actually determine the flights of these stars and then also determine. Uh, which sectors are good to be used and which are the ones that you need to avoid. So again, uh, thank you for joining me in this video. 
as I said earlier, I've been contemplating on not continuing with the monthly feng shui analysis as there seems to be not much interest based on the number of views. Now, if you, you know, if you feel that you uh, would like me to continue and uh, if you have any other comments, please uh, do write them in, my co in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this. Okay? So again, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And I uh, hope to see you in my next video.